Hello guys, Luna here, and welcome back to another Remnant 2 guide video. Currently we're working through finding all the secrets in game, and in this one I'm going over how to unlock all the secret items that Nimu has for sale, and all you can exchange at the Nightweaver's web. The items are the One True King Sigil, Rune Pistol, Tranquil Heart, Nimu's Ribbon, Assassin's Dagger, Dreamcatcher, Tormented Heart, Ring of Retribution, Decrepit Ruin, and the Nightweaver's Grudge and we will start with all the items that Nimu has for sale. The One True King sigil requires you to get Faelin and Faerin sigils. They are the boss fights at the end of Lassam, the one starting in the palace courtyard. At the very end, you fight either Faelin or Faerin, and the other one will give you the sigil as a reward. Once you defeat one, you can replay the entire Lassam mission and fight the other one and defeat them, so make sure you kill the one you didn't kill first time, and you will get both sigils, which you can take to Nimue for the one true king sigil. And taking this to the palace courtyard will also get you the unsullied heart relic. Nimue's ribbon is given by finding the golden and silver ribbons, and again you need the Faerin Faelin version of Lassam. The best location to go is to this door next to the juggler, as it's easy to get to when you need to re-roll, and inside of this door you always have a chance to spawn the statue holding hands. Nearby will be a ribbon, which you can give to the statue to hold. Now, place the ribbon on the statue, exit the dungeon, and return to get one of the ribbons. The ribbon that you get depends on whether it's daytime or nighttime, and you can exchange the time of day at the end of the mission next to Faelin and Faerin. There is a lever you can pull to change it to night or day. And you will need one night playthrough and one day playthrough to get both ribbons. And then you can take it to Nimue to craft your Nimue's ribbon. Another one of the items you can get here is the Assassin's Dagger, as it requires the Council Chambers, which again can spawn in the door next to the Juggler. So while you're trying to get the ribbons, it's worth trying to get the Assassin's Dagger at this location as well. Head into the Council Chambers and talk with the Council Members and follow the path through the mirror and all the way to the end of the Council Tribunal to find the Assassin's Dagger. Now instead of using it to accuse the council member, we're going to take it straight to Nimue and she will craft it as an actual weapon. Now if you're wondering what you can do with this weapon, you can use it to kill the Red Prince to get a secret item. The Rune Pistol is very tough to get and you need to play the Psalm, but this time we're going to do the Asylum version that starts in the Morrow Parish. After going all the way through and talking to Nimue, she transports you to the Forsaken Quarter and one of the dungeons in this area has a chance to be one of those yellow glowy doors. And inside of there is a chance of spawning the Great Hall. If it's not the Great Hall and it's something like the Council Chambers, then unfortunately you will have to re-roll the Psalm and do the entire map again until you get the Great Hall to spawn. And it has to be in this version with the Asylum. In the Great Hall you can find the Ravenous Medallion. You can give it to the Nightweaver web in the Tormented Asylum to get the Decrepit Ruin. Which you can then return to Nimue to get the Ruin Pistol. Tranquil Heart is acquired by first travelling to the Timeless Horizon in Nehrud, and you're looking for a temple with elevators inside. Here you will find the override pin, and this is needed to get the weapon Aphelion, but instead you're going to travel to the Nightweaver web and sacrifice it to get the Tormented Heart. That in turn you will give to Nimue to get the Tranquil Heart Relic. Now unfortunately for this one, you're going to need to get this during the main campaign, as it requires traveling to two different maps, which you can't do in adventure mode. So you're going to have to re-roll the campaign and hope that you get Nehrud with the Timeless Horizon and the version of the Psalm with the Tormented Asylum. So for the Nightweaver web, you can give her the Nightweaver Stone Doll. This is found in the prison cell in the Asylum. The key is out the window on the third floor. This rewards you with the Dreamcatcher. Next, you can get the override pin found in Nehrud, and you can get the Tormented Heart. We already mentioned that. The other item that you need to re-roll the campaign is Kolkat's Razor, as it requires you to find the Lament in Yaesha, but also requires you, of course, to have the Asylum in Lassam, as you need to give the Razor to the Nightweaver web, and you will get Nightweaver's Grudge. Next, you can get the Ring of Retribution if you get Drea's Anklet from Harvester's Reach. There is a boss in Harvester's Reach, which is one of the sewer levels, where you can not give it back to her husband, who is at the start of the sewers, and instead take it to the Nightweaver web. 
Lastly, feeding the ravenous medallion to the web gets you the decrepit ruin, and that's part of the rune pistol, as we mentioned earlier. So guys, that's it for this one. All the items, the secret items, you can get from Nimue and the Nightweaver web, a couple of them overlap, and a couple of them will require you to reroll your main campaign, which is very frustrating, but that is the case. Like and subscribe for more Remnant 2 guide videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.